Yo, what's going on? I'm very this mystical. I got this question a lot today during stream. So I'm going to go over how to gear at the start of the season, what I've been doing to gear as a Mistweaver, and maybe some recommendations for anyone else that might be having some questions. All right. So first of all, you're going to log in and there's going to be a lot of quests over here in the PVP area. You're going to want to grab all of them. The reason you want to get the weapons of conquest before you start like doing any kind of world PVP is because if you earn conquest before you get this, this quest, that doesn't count towards the quest. So you will be a week behind because the, the cap next week is going to be 600. So if you do not have the cap to 1600 for the weapon, you are going to lose out on the week two weapon. The next quest you're going to want to get is the bloody token quest. And the reason you want that is because it's going to do war mode gear and you get a thousand just for doing the quest. And you'll probably get like three or 400 just by completing it. So at the end, you should have around 1400 bloody tokens and you can just buy gear. This is 636 M level gear. It's like three M levels behind conquest gear, but they, some of them have higher secondary stats. The next thing you want to do is you want to do any kind of rated PVP, solo shuffle, BG blitz, twos, threes, RBGs. It doesn't matter. And what's going to happen is you're going to, at the end of that game you play, you're going to get a quest. A quest is going to pop up. You're going to hand it into one of these vendors over here and you're going to get nine currency to craft a piece of gear. You should get nine Forge Gladiators Heraldry. You need these to craft PvP gear. What these do is this will scale up any of the crafted gear you get to Conquest item level, which is absolutely insane. This is insane. This It's so cool. So you no longer need to use a spark. In Dragonflight, you had to use a waste a spark. If you, you know, if you PvP and PvE, it kind of sucked because you had to choose between them. You don't have to do that anymore. You only need these Forge Gladiators Heraldry. The the caveat of that, though, is you can only make PvP gear. So when you go to the the Crafting Order Lady, which is right here uh, in Dornogel, right here, you're going to click on her. Before, in like Dragonflight, you used to be able to just pick on a helm and craft anything you wanted. That's not the case anymore. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look for Algari competitors. And you're going to see all this gear. I'm a Mistweaver, so I'm going to do armor and leather because I wear leather. And this is the gear that you can use to use for your PvP gear. You can't use anything else. And then you can click on one and you can craft it. So if you're an engineer, you can actually make these really cool goggles that gives you one stat, but it's actually insane. But for me, for Mistweaver, I made the helm and I made the chest. So I went verse mastery helm and, ver and verse mastery chest. And I was able to make two pieces of gear because you get nine from that quest and it only costs four to, to make. In order to craft a piece of gear, it's really simple. Let's just say you want to make a leather chest piece. You click it, you put in the currency you want, and then you just need these to, um, you would just need the mats. So you track the recipe. You would go to the auction house and just look up these pieces of gear, come back and just make sure you have missives as well. So this is what decides what stats are on the gear. You can just do the missives. And if you want to put an embellishment on it, you can do that. This is buyable from the auction house. So, you know, just look up what you need, get it from the auction house. Same with the missive, just buy it off the auction house. And then that's it. You just buy everything you need, come back here, put a crafting order in and then you have your piece of gear. If you want to do an extra bonus craft, technically you should have two sparks at the end of this week. So you can make a 597 piece of gear of PVE gear, which is is fine too. You can you can absolutely do that. Uh, the item level is a little low, so you might want to wait until the first week that Mythic Plus comes out so that you can upgrade it to actual, you know, competitive item level, but it is an option that you have. You can probably if you want if you have two sparks, you could use it on like um, a weapon if you want to if you want to control the stats in your weapon finally you can make tier sets so if you have a really good tier set you can go to the forge right here or the catalyst right here in Dornogel, right here you can click and you can make any conquest piece of gear or bloody token piece of gear a, a tier which is amazing in addition to the tier piece that you can make from just using the catalyst on a piece of conquest gear or bloody token gear, you can get this achievement right here that you can get day one right now. And what this rewards is a mark of the Sp Spelunker Supreme. And what this does is this allows you to buy a piece of tier gear. You only get one charge of the catalyst this week, but with this token, you can get a second piece of tier. If you're ambitious, you can also do the raid. This allows you to get tier set as well if you're lucky enough. So if you have a raid group, or if you are an LFG and you wanna do normal or heroic, you get 
you get two shots at it. So I think the third boss and on gives you tier pieces. If you want to push for your three set or four set this week, you can absolutely do the do the raid and hopefully you get lucky enough to finish off the rest of your tier set. At the end of week one or day one of the new season, your gear should be somewhat similar to mine. I went for the big intellect pieces, so I crafted the helm and the chest as a mistweaver, probably similar to other casters. Intellect is your best stat. So I crafted that. I put a gem slot into the helm as well, just because I had the excess honor. And then I got two set. I need to convert my shoulders to uh, in the catalyst, but I should get two set. I got 1600 from the achievement. Right, so I got the token. I bought the gloves as a misweaver. Again, you want to get it if you have a good four set. I probably you want to use on the legs, chest, or helm. Misweavers do not have a good four set, so I just went two set. So I'm going to use it on the gloves, and I need to convert my shoulders to tier, and then I'll have two set. And then I use my bloody tokens for the cloak and the waist. And that is it for me. Hopefully this was helpful for anyone who might be confused. If you have any questions, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.